I know you think you saw something, but you'd be wrong. And if you reject that statement, then I shall write a harshly worded letter to your employer and get you cancelled. Now that I've served my verbal cease and desist, let's enjoy the spooky time extravaganza Phasmophobia, a survival horror game that gives a whole new meaning to the skid marks upon my Spider-Man undies. Because sweet Jesus, this game sure sets the bar on how to scare the feces directly out of my squeaky bum cheeks. And trust me, that's a pretty low bar. I once screamed at a light bulb exploding at work and my, my boss thought it was funny as hell. It wasn't. It wasn't funny at all. Anyway, equip your flashlights, grab your walkie-talkies, and strap on your glow-in-the-dark dildos for this week's story time. In Phasmophobia, you play as a nameless ghost-hunting shitlord who gets sent out on missions to investigate and identify the Ghost Boys. Like your Chris Hansen on a paranormal version of Dateline. And oh golly gee whiz, we even got ourselves a big white van with all the cameras. But hold your horses there, for there be a proper order to things, and the game breaks into a very simple loop. Gear up, arrive, search, determine, and get the fuck out of there. Learning this loop is very important, you see, as each section of of it changes how hard the ghost is going to anal fuck you. And I know that explanation's a little vague, so let me break it down a little. Step one, gear up all essentials and make sure you have enough for you and your party if you're playing with pals. Because going in without enough flashlights and multiplayer is about on par with attending an orgy with only one condom. Like maybe you'll all be good, but the chance of being caught by the Halloween special of HIV is definitely higher than if you went in there more prepared. Unfortunately, I had to learn this lesson the hard way. The flashlights, I mean, not not the STD. Step two, arrive at a location, find out what task the van wants you to do, and divvy up the equipment that you'll be taking with you. Step three, search for the Ghost Boy's gamer den like an overprotective mother looking for her kid's porn collection. Step four, once you've found out what the ghost room is, start throwing all of your shit at the walls to see what sticks. You get an EMF-5, good. Tell your pals and continue throwing shit. And finally, step five, once you've determined the ghost's social security number and have completed the van's chore list, then get the fuck out of there, get the fuck out of there, get the fuck out of there. Boom, there you go. All you gotta do now is rinse, repeat, die, lose hundreds of dollars worth of shit, get pissed off, buy more equipment, and repeat. See? Easy. Phasmophobia sure holds mechanics above all else, and you could definitely taste it in the drywall. The whole game revolves around a mechanic known as Sanity Level, with most ghosts keeping their social distance from you until you drop below a 60% Sanity Ooh. Threshold and... Actually, for most of the ghosts, that threshold is at 50%. Some exceptions to this are the Demon, which can hunt you at any Sanity, Onryo, which can hunt you at 60%, uh, the Yokai that can hunt you at 80% if the player is talking within 2 meter radius of the ghost, and an interesting threshold is his actual Actually, the, the phase age mechanic actually starts at 75% threshold. And oh god, no, he lagged out. Where was I? Ah, yes, my slowly decreasing sanity. So your sanity goes down throughout the hunt, from standing in the dark, talking into the spirit box, being subjected to the ghost tom fuckery in the form of events, and overall just messing with the cursed objects like a dipshit. Because no fucking shit, the screwing with a Ouija board kinda get on the ghost's nerves. But never fear, for anxiety meds are here in the form of sanity pills. And trust me, you're gonna need, uh, Anytime your sanity takes a nosedive, just pop some of these bad boys before you start indulging in furry porn. Unless you're into that sort of stuff, then go go ahead, I guess. Moving on, to find the ghost room quicker and to avoid being thrown into the crazy house, you should choose your gear wisely when you leave the truck for the first time. My go-to is bringing a boatload of glow sticks so I can go around throwing them in every direction possible to see if I get any fingerprints and... Actually, bringing a flashlight, an EMF reader, and a camera is probably one of the best stuff in options because it allows you to move around easier find the ghost room quicker and then you'll be able to take pictures of the bone the cursed object and anything else that might happen along the way as you're trying to locate that ghost okay room. i get it you're better than me jesus christ fucking cult leaders man i just uh, fucking cr I've always wondered what was going through the minds of Scooby-Doo and the gang, and after playing Phasmophobia, I've come to the conclusion that every single one of them must be addicted to some form of narcotic. Crack cocaine, heroin, the Phasmophobia wiki, you fucking name it. And yes, I am saying that being a Phasmophobia fan is akin to that of a life-destroying drug addiction. I know this because I'm one of them. This game is amazing. I, oh, I fucking love it. Like, seriously. I was ready to write the script for this episode after like 10 hours of playtime, but 
but I ended up getting hooked, as each playthrough is different from the last, as this game changes where the ghost is, what tasks you need to complete, and even the location of the cursed objects and bone. It is sublime, I say. Sublime! sublime. And if you haven't played this game yet, then you sicken me. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Buy it and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know how to actually play the game, go to check out my channel, The Bearded Baron. A link to my YouTube and Twitch is in the description below. You really should. Like, he's essentially the Twitch cult leader equivalent of a phasmophobia Jesus. It's not a cult! Thanks for watching and bye bye <laughs>